What's up guys, Jake here, and today I'm going to be reviewing uh, this Essential PIM uh, Task Manager, Email Manager, Contact Manager, and Password Manager all in one bundle. Okay, so I'm going to hop over to my computer and we can get started uh, with going over all of the features. Okay, so uh, this is the app. This is what it looks like when you do open it. And so it shows your tasks, messages, and appointments. So this is in the today view. And so if I wanna, uh, it says that I have some stuff, uh, appointments coming up. So I can press on new appointment to create a new appointment. And so I'll just put meet with sponsor um, ab about anything. Uh, and then, so that's for the title. And then in the bottom, I can say um, who I'm meeting with. So I'll just say meet with a sponsor from Jake Brown Media Productions. Uh, which is our uh, media company. And then on the left, I can add a start uh, date and time and an end date and time. You can just leave it if it's the, the same date. Um, so let's just make it so it's like an hour uh, about. And so if I want to add any more details, um, I can do that on the right. And I can create categories and other things over there and also make it so it does repeat. And when I'm done, I can just press on OK, and now you'll see uh, I have today, Saturday, and Sunday, and under Saturday, it shows that I have an appointment to meet with my sponsor. And so once I meet, I can press the check mark uh, and say that I'm all done with that appointment. But if I accidentally uh, click it and I want to unclick it, you can do that too. So the next view is the calendar view. And so uh, this is the day view of what it looks like. Um, and then you can select different days down at the bottom in the calendar. So when I click on Saturday, you can see there is a meet with sponsor. Um, and if you want to go back to today, there is a today button at the top, as well as a go to date button. And now on the left, there's a week and month and year uh, calendar. So right now I'm on the month one. It has some like built in ones already uh, so that you can test the software. But as you can see on the right there under Saturday, there is a meet with sponsor. Uh, next is the task section. So right now I have sponsorship uh, and also pick up Chipotle. Uh, so I guess I'll go pick up Chipotle so I can uh, check this one off. Okay, so I'm back from Chipotle and I can uh, check that off now. And let's say I want to add uh, another uh, task. You can press add to root. And then, so I'm just gonna type in golf because I'm gonna go in golf later. So I'll type uh, meet Tim from Talking Tech with Jake and Tim. So meet Tim at golf. And so I'll, uh, since there uh, it really is no start and end time, I'll just put a start time um, or when, I'm just gonna do it under do. And so I'll just say I'm gonna go and meet him at two o'clock today. So I'll press okay. And so now I'll go play golf and then I'll continue reviewing this after. Okay, so I uh, am now back from golf. And so now I'm back in Essential PIM and so I can just press that check mark. Uh, and so that's all done. Now the last one I have is a sponsorship, but I won't check that off until this video is all done. Uh, did I mention that this video is sponsored by Essential PIM? I use my link in the description to get a discount. Um, so the next uh, tab is the notes tab. So you can create uh, a route um, as well as, uh, which is kind of like a folder. And then you can also create separate notes within there. Um, so right now it has the default one. So if I want to create a new one, I can press add to root. And so I'll just call it new note. And so as you can see in there, I can type anything that I need. Um, and so it's a handy notes manager. Uh, next is the contacts tab. And so this is where you can add all of your contacts. Um, yeah, pretty much. And you can also create groups within there. So if you have certain business one uh, versus friends contacts, uh, then they'll be different. So it has an example one in here. So if I raise this up, you can make all of these. These are all resizable. Um, so it says their first name, last name, email, uh, street, their web page, birthday, company, all that sort of stuff. Um, and it will also tell you if you have any appointments with them as, to, uh, as well, which is also very cool. Uh, I enjoy that. And so next is the mail 
uh, tab which you can link up um, any of your mail accounts, whether it be your own custom one uh, or like Gmail or Outlook or any of those, uh, you can all link those in here. And then last but not least, we do have the passwords tab. So I can press on add an entry. And so I'll just type in uh, buy merch. So uh, you guys should buy some merch at ttpmerch.com. So yeah, I can make the password uh, ttpmerch.com uh, or something else. I'll just, yeah, I'll do it merch uh, and the username is buy. Uh, so you guys should buy merch. And I like that it does make you confirm the password just in case you got it wrong. And then it will ask you for the URL of that page as well. Um, so ttpmerch.com if you guys want to go uh, buy some merch. We also do have some merch, uh, new, new merch coming out soon, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And then you can add a note to that as well. And then just press on OK. Um, and if your password does not match, which I accidentally typed it in wrong, I forgot the R, um, then it will prompt you that you typed it in wrong. So you can just uh, change it and press OK. And now you have a save password. Um, and then next is the trash can. So if you delete anything accidentally, like any of your tasks and stuff, it will just uh, throw them in the trash can. Um, so that way you don't lose uh, everything that you've done just in case. Okay, so uh, that was pretty much all the, the features that I've checked out and that I actually uh, like more than I thought that I would have. Um, there are a couple cons though for me. One is that it only works on Windows and they do have an iOS and Android app, but since I am a primary Mac user, um, this doesn't really fit into my workflow. Uh, so that, that's one of the main reasons that I'm not going to be using this uh, as my main like task manager and email manager. Um, but hopefully in the future, uh, they will make a Mac version and so that way then uh, I can actually use this in my uh, daily workflow, which I definitely um, would if they did have a Mac version. One of the other cons for me is that I'm not a huge fan of the overall UI or user interface. It's very like boxy and just like plain and gray. Um, some of the other websites kind of like this are like monday.com a little bit and those have like a pop of color and everything is rounded and it looks like all nice. So if I uh, had a change for this, uh, it would probably be um, update the UI to look more uh, fun and like uh, more intuitive. Uh, to use. Uh, but other than that, everything is like very functional uh, inside the software, which I'm very happy with. Okay, so make sure uh, you can check out the link down in the description uh, if you are like a Windows user, or you can actually download the iOS app for free um, as well. I believe there is a free version of the software for Windows. The one that I was showing though off was the pro version, so some of those features may not be on the free version, but I think uh, most of it should be the same. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, the link will will be down in the description, so make sure you do go and check that out. Make sure to pick up some merch at ttpmerch.com. I do have some new merch coming uh, within the next month or so, so stay tuned for that. Also, make sure to follow me over on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Tech Prof JB. I'm also on Twitch now, uh, so if you guys want to see me streaming, head over there to twitch.tv slash the Tech Prof JB and make sure to follow us there. Uh, and then also head over to the forum at the Tech Professor.net. That will also be down in the description uh, and up in the iCard as well. Uh, so make sure you do check that out and join the forum. We have some fun conversations there. And also, stay tuned uh, for Talking Tech with Jake and Tim. Uh, that's usually on Friday nights where we just talk about ongoing tech stuff. Uh, that's also on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else that you do listen. Okay guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as the subscribe button and that little bell notification icon right next to that. And I'm Jake, the Tech Professor, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.